Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and today I want to do Tea Time Tuesdays with you. So, I got my tea. So, get your tea and let's cozy up and see what we can do here. So, I had a fun idea. Um, I want to show you guys how I'm going to, how I made all the little pages in this little journal. And the cool thing is, is I'm making it with most of the pages with uh, tea bags. So I got tea bags. And I want to put it together with you guys and talk about what I did and how I made some of the pages and stuff. And uh, I will show you guys how I take apart a tea bag and get it to this point to do pages with it. And yeah, so then every Tuesday, I want—I would like to decorate a page with you guys and call it Tuesday Tea Time. So I think that sounds like a fun little idea. Okay, so let's just start here. Let's just see what I did here. Let's start with the cover. And then I will put it all together and we'll go from there. So what I did is I have a video on how I do three different ways, or three easy ways is what I call it, to how to decorate tea bags. So this one I did, and I will put the link below so you guys can see. So I made this the cover. And what I did here for the outside cover is took some tea dyed fabric that I did. Actually, I think this might be coffee. This is coffee dyed. Uh, so I did some coffee dyed fabric and different pieces. So I got some burlap, uh, some uh, painter's cloth, and then some of this, which is, I'm not quite sure uh, what exactly this is. Uh, linen is kind of maybe like a linen, we'll call it. So I went ahead and coffee dyed that. And then these are all sewn together on here. So I sewed them together and then I sewed them to a piece of the uh, marble coffee paper that I make. And I can link that below to show you guys if you wanna come check it out. If you haven't seen that one yet, it's, um, it's how I make marble looking coffee paper. And it's pretty fun and easy. So I went ahead and did some stitching around and put it together. So I made that the cover. Okay, so there's the cover. And then I'm not sure how I wanna put these together, but I'll talk about them as I do it. So I went ahead and I have a piece of uh, pattern paper. So it's like the pattern paper that you can get uh, for the directions and stuff, instructions on it. And um, I took some coffee dyed napkins, which I will be making a video soon to show you guys how to do those. Uh, I'll be posting that in a couple days or yeah, probably a couple days or so. So look for that one. And it's how I coffee dye napkins or it's actually paper towels. It's what I'd use. I have paper towels that I coffee dye. Okay. And then I went ahead and sewed them all together. Then it was too long. So I went ahead and folded over and made a cute little pocket here. So you got a little, just a fun little pocket that we can make to put something in. Okay. So there's that. All right. And then a tea bag. Okay. So I got a tea bag. And I figured throughout I'm going to have four tea bags s sporadically. Okay. And so maybe we'll put a couple here. It's just going to be a cute little journal. Just something to play in. And then this is the top of the tea, the little toppers of the tea bags. And I went ahead and just sewed them together like that. And they're all uh, dyed with the tea, but some were seeped with darker tea and longer, and you could see the different colors, so I thought that was fun. So I went ahead and zigzagged those around. And, uh, uh -oh. I have that one stuck, but uh, went ahead and did a little sewing around. There we go. And then left some long little frays of thread, which I thought was fun. 
Uh, and then I glued a tag on there. So it'd be cute to maybe, you know, stamp something in here or do some fun little words on that. And then I did a, another little T tag or tab, little tab hanging uh, and put it at the top. So I figured this will go up more to the top and that could be sticking out. So that could be fun. Okay, so we got that. And then we'll add another couple tea bags. And then I took a book page that I coffee dyed and I did the marble coffee dye. And I decided it'd just be fun to incorporate some coffee in here too, because I think it's pretty. And uh, yeah, so I went ahead and did that with the uh, book page and then folded it over to make a little pocket here. So that can go like that. And then there we go. So we got ourselves a little book. And what I want to do is I like to take them and I'm going to go ahead and just fold them all in half real quick. So I got it all together how I want it. And I really, I don't mind how it's all sticking out and st I really love that. I love that look. Okay. So I got it together the way I want them. And also I wanted to show you guys, cause I was thinking about putting this one in there, but I, I don't know. I think I might want to do a separate video for you guys. So I made this and I thought it was really cute. And, uh, I, I went ahead and did a pocket and stuff and have this to go on the front. And if you guys, I would love to hear in the comments, if you guys would like to see how I make this little pocket and super fun, just let me know. I would like to know because I think I'm going to go ahead and just keep it out and do a separate video. But if I get enough comments, then I'll, I'll show you guys how I did this one. So please leave a comment down below and we'll go from there. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Okay. So now we got this one together how we want it. Okay. And what I want to do, because I, I think it would be easier and I think it still would be functional is, okay, that's the middle. I'm going to, now you can either bind it together if you want, which is totally up to you, but I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew down the middle here and just sew it right down the middle. So I will be right back. All right, I think this turned out really cute. So I just went ahead and just did some sewing right down the middle here. And then just, uh, if it's thicker, if you did it thicker than this, just make sure to go, sh go slow. Don't do it too fast, you know. And uh, yeah, you should be able to get right through it. Okay. So let's see. And I just use a, like a universal needle. It's, it's nothing special. Just a regular universal needle. But uh, there's also jean needles out there that you can do and uh, for thicker th items that you're, if you're using or, you know, sewing different things. But yeah. And I'm going to keep these dangles on here to put fun things on them later as we go through. Okay. So, I mean, look at this. This is so much fun. I was doing it backwards, but I'm just pressing down the pages. And then there we go. We got ourselves a cute little tea time journal. Yeah. So look for Tuesday tea time and I'll just keep adding some fun little things to each, you know, each page and pocket that we have in here and see what we can do and just see how to decorate this little guy. So I think that's super fun. Yeah. Okay. So now I want to show you guys real quick on how I take apart the tea bags. Okay. So, uh, after I seep them and you know, have them just soak and get the tea, get the water as dark as I want to use to dye with. I let them dry. I just sit them out and just let them dry. And then once they're dry, you can take your, take the tea and get it down towards the bottom here. Okay. 
And what I do is I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, the string will go and everything. I cut it all off when I'm using them as like book pages or journal pages. So, and then I keep these for sure. Keep this with the string on it because, you know, the string's great to use too in projects. Okay, and so you have the top open. And then I just dump it out. Like that. And make sure if you have plants or garden or, you know, even poured out near grass and stuff, but uh, the antioxidants in the tea bags are great for plants. So if you take it and sprinkle it in your plants or in your garden, and then, you know, just do some watering and it gets down in there and it's really good for it. So I like to keep it and keep it, get a bunch, you know, collect it up and then sprinkle it around. I have uh, tons of house plants and stuff too, plus a garden outside. So yeah. And I got a huge rose bush that loves it. It's one of those big climbing rose bushes and uh, it goes nuts. It's like as tall as a house right now. I swear <laughs> it is. It's huge. And, uh, Everything grows so good here in Oregon. I mean, moving from Alaska to Oregon, I'm like, wow, what a difference. I mean, it's just, it's so hard to grow stuff up in Alaska. It's just so cold and stuff. And uh, and then the wind whips through and yeah, okay. so yeah, it's great. The point is, is this stuff is great to use in your garden and stuff. Okay, so keep that in mind and also, well, and a fun other thing I did the other day with it is some decoupage uh, with a napkin and stuff. And then I sprinkled the tea uh, just on top. So you can use it in your projects. I don't know if you can see that. Here, I have to stand up and look. Let's see. So yeah, see the little, just the little speckles on it like that. So yeah, so you use it, you can use it in your projects and you know, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. Tea is great. Okay, and then I just take the seam here. And this one doesn't want to cooperate, but you just rip the seam here. You can cut it too. And then, there we go. There we go. So depending on your tea bag, they're all different. Uh, some will have a seam in the middle. Uh, even the square little bags, you know, the ones that are square, I just do the same thing and cut the top off and uh, open it up. And yeah, these are great to do all kinds of stuff on them. You can, you know, you can watercolor on them. You can do acrylics on them. You can uh, sketch on them with pen and uh, use them as, you know, little, uh, little uh, papers in your journals, like little fun things. And you can use them as decoupage, which is great. I've done many, many things with that. And yeah, so tea bags are very, very universal. So make sure to keep your tea bags because they're great. Okay, so I think that's it for today because I just wanted to show you guys how to put this together. It was just gonna be a short, sweet video. And make sure to look for uh, Tuesday tea time. And we'll have a cup of tea and put some pretty little fun little things to decorate. We'll do each little page, probably both sides or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll just see. I'll come up with fun things th during the week and see uh, what we can add and do some mini little, little, little mini journaling. I think that would be fun. And I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys think of this idea. And uh, yeah, if, I mean, if I get enough comments, I'd definitely continue it. But uh, I just thought it would be a fun little idea to do Tuesday tea time. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And make sure to hit the like button. It helps me out so, so much. And if you could, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share. And let's grow together. And keep on crafting. <laughs>